never get enough track oh! Oh! It's awful gazy. Yes! Friday, what the f- Let's go, huh? Let's go. Let's do it. What's up? Wake up. Come on. Okay. I am the one that has to do a goddamn podcast. You just have to wake up and fucking flip a switch and put the shove the things in your ears and don't turn it on for a volume. Someone mentioned don't put it on for a volume because a lot of times I yell, so be careful. But the point is, you wake up, you put the vibrations in your ear, and you just lay there. You don't have to do anything. And next thing you know, you're energized. You got coffee through your fucking straight to your ears, straight to your dome, straight to your cerebellum down your spinal column, into your tailbone, and it fucking lifts you, and that's it, you're standing, and you're welcome. Uh, it's Friday. What I like about Friday is a lot of people think, oh, I get to do what I want on the fe- weekend, and you get to figure out what you hated about the last couple days and what you love about the weekend. Learn about yourself. Use that time to friggin' figure out what you liked, what you didn't, and why. Question yourself why. I mean, like, why? Am I even a good person? Do I even like myself? Do I even love myself? Do I hate everybody? Do I hate life? Why do I hate life? Because my, my brain's all messed up and I need therapy. Whatever it is, let's get the ball rolling. Let's get the ball rolling. In the good direction. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's just, let's be happy. Oh, actually, you know, I'll start, I'll start the day with a happy quote. Ready? Audrey, Aubrey Hepburn, who was British actress and humanitarian. Oh, yeah, and the fashion icon. She said, um, oh, I got two. I'll just start with this one. <laughs> the most important thing is to enjoy your life, to be happy. It's all that matters. Simple as that. Put the basis of what you want to do as, I want to be happy, you know, and see what that leads to. If you're not happy, if you're angry, are you negative? Why are you negative? It's probably because you don't sleep, exercise, or nutrition. Top three foundations. Speaking of foundations, I made a whole fucking Dunk Life Basics book. It dropped yesterday. Have you read it yet? It's quick. It's only five fucking dollars. (laughs) If you want it, check it out. I really am happy about it because to me, I like giving you guys the blueprint instead of just saying, yo, follow these numbers and try this program. I really like giving you the principles. I do have the programs because I do believe in like the two week peak program that I made that it'll help you jump your highest because it's pretty general and it's not the hardest thing to do. But when it comes to full training, hitting that next level, I feel like custom training is the best. There are programs you can follow that will help you. But read my book first, five bucks. I'll probably give one away on this podcast. If you're listening right now, check the description on the YouTube. You could be the first one. I'll probably leave a code there for the free books. I don't have it right now. Um, but I'll leave it to, before I upload it. Um, so it's, check it out. I've already had a bunch of people um, get it and write to me that like send me feedback because at the end of the book, I tell you where to send me feedback and it's been great so far. So I really appreciate it. And it just dropped it yesterday. Very happy about it. Very proud of it. And I'm looking forward to keep adding on to it. So it's just the first of many. It's my basic basics. And then I want to make a basics advanced and it's like keep going because I keep remembering new things and I also, there's more details I can go off of. So I do want to finish my energy book too. That's like total life, total energy. So I'm working on that as well. So whichever comes first. But the point is I wanted to get something out there that you guys can start your training with and really make a solid foundation and really have a good mindset approaching your training so you can make the right choices instead of getting caught up at the thing. So let me just tell you the sections of the book really quick is it starts with health first, where to start in your training, jump technique, Dunk training and jumping higher, healthy habits, my diet, mindset, and my top 10 takeaways to live by. So check that out. I hope you guys enjoy. I really think you're going to like it. I'll probably do a million giveaways with this all the time if you're a listener. So stay tuned for that. Um, Also, what else is I wanted to say? Oh, I'm reading Shoe Dog. Shoe Dog is an amazing book by Phil Knight. He's the creator, founder of Nike, the company, and it's just about how he started the company. It's the whole story. He's a great writer, by the way, and I'm getting through the book. Part of my nightly routine, actually, is where I go to, I put my phone away on a different dresser. I don't even look at it. I keep that blue screen away, read a book, read it slowly, try to focus. My mind drifts. It's almost like a meditation. My mind drifts onto so many thoughts. I focus on the book. I just enjoy the book. You know what? My moment right now is this book. All I care about is this book. The whole universe could be imploding around me. I'm reading this book. That's how I think. I literally think that because I, I need to like focus and it helps me. When you focus on one thing, insight to the world, ready? When you focus on one thing, it changes your brain waves. I didn't make that up, but I am a scientist and I am a nutritionist and I am a doctor and I am a physicist. So these things are all accurate. Your brain waves change when you focus on one thing and it helps them calm down, I think, simply put. So it's like that reading is really great. That fic- not fictional, but a story, listening to a story helps you stop problem solving and it helps me relax. And I need that at night because I have a lot of energy. Can you tell? 
And then after that, I read that chapter and he's just, it's, it's just incredible. All the obstacles he had to go through, all the hurdles he had to get over. And if you saw one of the hurdles he had to do, you would think that he would stop or he wouldn't be able to make this company, but he never gave up. That's a dunk life key. Effing relentless. We stay relentless and that's it. And the other thing I wanted to go off on is that you have to believe in the things you want to achieve. You can't just want them so badly. And that's what I've learned. Some things I desired so hard, I wanted it so badly I would do anything for it, but you, I didn't believe I can get there. And the best example is my right, left, two-hand dribble dunk on 10 feet. I wanted it so badly because in my mind it made me a legit dunker, even though I was windmilling and doing crazy dunks and backboard dunks. It was like to dunk off the dribble with two hands um, made me a legit dunker that I wanted it more than the other ones. And it was so hard to believe in myself that I'm a legit dunker. That's why it was so hard and I'm still bad at it, but I work with it. And I finally got over that hump of being able to land it. But now I'm like, there's a lot more to it. But the point is, is you have to believe yourself and why you have to believe yourself is because of the frequency of your friggin' brain and your thoughts. So when you want something and desire something, oh, I really want, I'll use dunking as a metaphor for life is what the whole podcast is about. It's like, say you want that windmill dunk. It's like, I want it so bad and you're trying it. But then when you say, I believe I can hit it and you like visualize yourself achieving it and really believe you can hit it, it helps you think on the frequency of that person that achieves it and actually believes it. So then new thoughts come into your head like, oh, I need to work on my hand speed. Oh, I'm not jumping high enough. Whatever it is, the point is, is when you actually believe in yourself, be like, oh, what is it like to actually achieve it? It'll change your thought process and it'll change your energy. We're all about that energy, right? So it'll change your energy the way you do the next thing. So maybe the next time you go try the dunk, you're you're in a different headspace and you throw it from a different angle and that unlocks something. The point is you have to, the, the best frequency to think on is the frequency that you believe 100% in yourself. And that's the hardest thing to do. So believe in your goddamn self. What else do we got to say today? Um, oh, I found, I read a really funny review <laughs> on my podcast. Please keep leaving these podcasts. Um, oh, and by the way, if you sign up for my Patreon, the first 50 people to sign up, it's only a dollar for the first tier, but there's only a limited spots. I'll give you a personal FaceTime call and you also get my book free. So if you want my book free, it's $1 on my Patreon. So I appreciate that. And if I get a hundred patrons, I'm going to do a weekly live stream. I don't know for however long, but I love to add more content to my life because God damn it, it's so easy to keep adding and not making it, you get the point, I'm sarcastic. Okay, this was hilarious on my rating. Please keep leaving these ratings. This makes my day. Obviously, Ponzi scheme. Obviously, I'm on top of it. Obviously, it helps me, but you, know, you get the point. Good podcast equals good person, says Razor36. The DLD podcast is one of the best ways to start your day. Good, consistent content for dunkers as well as lifers. His morals are a bit questionable, though. The line in the intro, whatever I lack, add it to my bag, suggests he likes to steal things. It's wise to keep your valuables safely secured when around this self-proclaimed thief. Okay, well, could be stealing your stuff, could be stealing your energy right now, sucking it. Or I could mean that I don't have skills right now and I want to add it to my repertoire, any skill I lack. You decide. Um, <laughs> so speaking of that intro, I made that intro. I talked about it and I want to make the full song. We got the pot. We got the studio looking nice. We got this beautiful poster. Next up, I think, is gear. I want to get sick gym gear that just feels amazing, makes you feel like you want to attack the day. So I want to get gear. I want to get I want to do more. I want to keep making progress to my content, to everything. I got a new car sneak peek. You guys know about it already. Probably if you watch my YouTube story, hint, hint. And I'm probably going to make the, the vlog I did yesterday. I gave in, I jumped a little bit too much. I don't want to talk about it, but I did learn what I can do about my hamstring. But the point is, is like I'm making progress, making life progress. When you see this, if I get enough time and I can make that full song, it'll be so fun because I've had that intro for years now, I think. And if I make that full song, it'll be amazing. I love music. I love I think that Dunk Life song would be amazing. So that's something that I would love to start. To, I love compounding experiences, as you know. So if you hear me telling you I want to make that song, and then in a friggin' two years, I make it in a fucking legit studio because I've got connections now. Or my studio gets so progressed, it's legit. You get the point. It'll be sick when that song comes out. So I'm looking forward to dropping it at some point. It'll be such a big moment, you know? Um so yeah, that's about it. Let's go over the favorite, everybody's goddamn favorite part of the day, which is on this day in history. Let's go. August 16th, 2000. Okay. I think that's my grandpa's birthday. I think 10. No, I think it's 10, 16. I don't know. I'll double check, but either way, love to my past grandpa. I'll be in the realm soon. 
not soon, but I'll, we're in the realm and I'll be, I'll be, okay. 1896, gold first discovered in Klondike found at Bonanza Creek, Alaska by George Carmack. What a sentence. One more time. 1896, gold was discovered in the Klondike at Bonanza Creek, Alaska by George Carmack. Okay, cool. I like that a lot. I'm never going to lay, I'm never, I'm going to be saying it's, I'm going to say that fact all, all day long today. Did you know today? Uh, this gold was discovered in Klondike at the at Bonanza Creek by George Carmack. People, go, huh? 2012 WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange is granted political asylum by Ecuador. Thank you, Ecuador. Protect him, hide him, um, give him. I don't know. I don't know whose side I'm on here. Today in film, 1930, the first Souther, whoa, Souther, color sound cartoon Fiddlesticks by UB Iwerks is released. X Walt Disney Studio. Okay, I'm writing that down. Fiddlesticks. Yesterday we wrote down the Lusitania, which is the cartoon I wanted to watch. Fiddlesticks. Okay, I got a list of shit to watch this weekend. Let's go. Today in music, 1974, Ramones concert debuts. NYC CBGBs. I don't, okay. Today in sports, 1743, champion of England title, ho- title holder Jack Broughton publishes Rules of the Ring, earliest boxing code. Oh, here we go. 2008, baby. Jamaican sprinter Usain Bolt sets new world record of 9.69 seconds to win the coveted 100 meter gold medal at Beijing 2008 Summer Olympics, aka that boy's quick. Dude, I want to sprint so bad. My hamstring's getting better. I pushed it a little bit too much yesterday, but I took the day off yesterday, the two days before. So um, having one session instead of two sessions, I think is way helpful. It's still prolonged because I'm not letting it rest enough. But if I think if I keep my sessions infrequent, I'll get super healthy and I can't wait to sprint. I want to time myself. I feel like I'm the fastest ever. I want to be on points. My my cardio, cardio felt good. Sneak peek. I played some pickup games, played pretty well. And then I also dunked, not dunked, I tried to dunk on a 6'3 guy. It was kind of some poster practice, I asked him. So that's a hint, sneak peek for the vlog. I'm super pumped about that. And um, nothing surpasses uh, George Carmack discovering gold in the Klondike at Bonanza Creek. But have a great day. And I know history can be made every day, but you can't beat that. Have a great day. And I got to do the dunk lifter of the day. And that is, today it is... Ka- cakes yt k-a-x-e y-t what exercises did you do when you first trying to dunk i tried lifting a lot but i was already pretty strong i just started jumping a ton and then just strength train pretty much just jumping a ton actually in my dunk life basics book i tell you how to start your training and how to st- and how to start jumping higher based the basics and where i started and how to start each phase and how to test yourself so if you really want that Give me a good reason and I'll try to give you a discount, but I, I can't give it out to everybody, but I want to give it away to the real dunk lifers. And there's definitely going to be one winner today. So check the description because it's already there. I, this is in the future past. Have a great effing day. Use your time wisely. Make the most out of Friday and take advantage of the days and make sure the minutes count and make sure that you're counting the seconds and every second counts. And also make sure that when you're looking at other people and you're hanging about to end this podcast, when you take out the headphones, when you stop listening to the, you see people and you'd be like, I fucking can't believe you're not listening to this podcast because I I know that this morning you don't have as much energy as me. And now I have all this pent up energy. I have no one to share it with. So either tell them to listen to my podcast or you get talk their ear off. You give them 13 exact minutes of goddamn energy and see how their day changes. See how their energy changes. See how it ch- just use it in your life and see what happens. Spread it. Spread it like a friggin' wildfire. <laughs> All right, I'm losing my mind. All right, have a great day. I'll see you goddamn tomorrow. Maybe I'll wrap tomorrow again. Maybe if I have time. Woo, enjoy the fucking earth. See ya. Toodle him. That's dunk life. Oh, that's the anthem right there. Tried to make an intro, ended up making an anthem. Oh!